Welcome to another episode of You You Suck. Suck. I'm your host, Vlad V. And I'm Joey. And today we are going to go over Tom McDonald's new song, Dirty Money. Isn't it all dirty? Dude. Money's covered in feces. And cocaine. And hooker spit. Which one's worse out of the three? They're all great. (laughs) Except for the poop. I don't think I'm in the poop, but but the other two are good. Cocaine, hookers, and... Two out of three ain't bad. Fesses. Well, were you aware? Do you keep up with the comments? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're 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 fucking. It's when when I'm when I'm laying down some uh, some some feces. <laughs> I, I I read the comments. Right. Yeah, just killing time, baby. So you're the one with the dollar bill putting the feces on the dollar the, bill. Uh, yeah, man. It you know bathrooms are s- small. Uh huh. Air circulating. Right. Plus, we're so rich. We yeah. use it as toilet paper. Absolutely. Gotcha. Ones. Dimes are weird. <laughs> for that. This is going to be a great video, I could tell already. It's late so, It's late at night, yeah. and fucking... Hey, this is where cynicism and irreverence collide. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to You Suck. Uh, we are constantly uh, being visited by the hog team, the hog kids. You know what hog stands for? The hangover gang. Oh, right, right. Now, I'm a fan. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a hog. Mm-hmm. I've got a hog. But I'm not in the hog. Team. My my mother in law. I'm not getting the memos. Is my mother in law is a is part of the Hangover Gang. I'm not gonna say hog. She is. Yeah, dude. That's rad. She should uh she should come over here and visit and, and De- Deb, tell us how much we suck. Debbie got mad that I had anything bad to say about Tom McDonald last time. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm serious. Oh, dude, that's great. Yeah, that's I great. mean, she was laughing when she said it, but I know she meant it. Uh huh. She was yeah. like, there was like a little hint of, like, you know. But seriously, fuck. D- dude, Debbie Don't doesn't. Debbie doesn't Tom. fuck around. Um, I actually like uh, I like Tom McDonald, uh, and and <clears throat> I I think it's awesome that uh, his fans are so loyal mm-hmm. that they're willing to come and shit post uh, on our comments. It's great for our algor- algorithm, so please keep doing it. And they're actually uh, a pretty uh, they're actually pretty fair. They're not complete shitheads yeah man you know I, uh most of right. them i mean you got your shitheads uh no matter what you do but we're shitheads so we can't really that's we right can't really talk you know what i mean um but i thought a lot of them were fair they're like nah this is not his best song like this is a good song but it's not his best song that was a lot of the comments so I'm yeah good. yeah that, i'm a that's, fan that's of tom mcdonald i didn't care for uh what was the end of the world uh i didn't think that was one of his strongest songs. I think that one was a little tongue in cheek as far as the uh, as, as everything about it. The the message not so much, but maybe the maybe the music was. Yeah, I th- and and it had uh, it was a, like a serious, it was a serious subject uh, with uh, his kind of funniness, his mm-hmm. funny edge to to things with yeah. the cows getting um, abducted and all that stuff. I liked it. It just wasn't my favorite. Hopefully, Dirty Money. Is going to be a little bit better. I think, man, I was reading the lyrics for it earlier, and he's saying some uh, some pretty brave stuff in there. So I, I, I have does. to give him he propers for that. Yeah, he uh, he usually does. Uh, I like that he says a lot of things that you know, definitely, definitely not, definitely not acting like some other rappers that are saying a lot of things that we know they don't mean because they're in you know they're they're being paid and they're. I would say probably controlled opposition. Some people might actually argue that Tom McDonald is controlled opposition, but mm, I don't know. So yeah, far, man, so good for me. I don't know because he's not in the. Uh, it doesn't sound like he's in the in crowd so much, right? And to say what you he, don't understand, this- man, that is controlled opposition. That's how they get you, bro. They make you think that they're one of you. He's putting himself in harm's way by saying some of this <laughs> I think shit, man. Is. Honestly, I think, so yeah. The, the, I think this, he is. this is you know they they say stunning and brave. From what I read of the lyrics already, this is stunning and brave. Let's hear it. Enough with the foreplay. Here we go. Is that what that was? Yeah. Let's not do that no, anymore. Let's not. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Cause the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you. All the crap in the ads while they broadcast news. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital in segments sponsored by Pfizer. And the freedom.
freedom fighters I feel like the left just plants them To infiltrate the right, it's extensive planning Then it happens overnight, it's impressive branding Make a million off of shirts that say let's go branding It's a cash grab, everyone's a lab rat Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass And that's that Funny how the terrorists who attack Always come from places that are oil rich and have gas Democrats, they don't give a damn What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East Can't get them out Heroes are the ones who had the constitution written down Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse One cent, two cent, three cents, four We get less and they get more By insult since we were born They want money Right out of the gate, man. Yeah. There's a there, there's a fucking chord progression in this. Mm-hmm. Like a legitimate one, not just like like a root and a fifth or some shit. Yeah. He's doing an actual chord progression, and I think my right channel isn't working today, but the left channel says to me that the chorus had a different chord progression. So yeah, right he, right out of the gate, I'm I'm impressed with this because most rap songs just let the same fucking loop just go the whole time. But this, right. he put, there, there was thought put into this. Yeah, and he uh, and he does work with different artists, and he does a lot of organic stuff. Uh, so he'll do usually like uh, a drum machine, and then he'll add a guitar player playing actual chords. And he's done a lot of collaborations with with different uh, rappers and different uh, guitar players and stuff like that. So. I think he's generally pretty brave and doesn't um he doesn't give a fuck like he he'll try anything and I I really like that about him because he doesn't have you know he's he doesn't have anybody in his ear probably I mean Nova his his girl uh probably helps a, a, a lot I know she does a lot of the work for the video she does all his videos but uh he just sings whatever the, he raps whatever the fuck he wants and I think that's cool Does he play any instruments that you know of Not that I know of Somebody does. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if this is a loop. I mean, it could be a fruity loop. You know what I mean? Of of guitars put over yeah, I don't know. synth drums. and. You guys will have to excuse me. I haven't listened to rap since like decades before Chuck D was getting his monthly subscription to AARP magazine. So <laughs> I, I have no reference point here. But so far, I'm I'm liking this. Yeah, I, I think it's good. So I, I'm, I'm so immersed in what he's saying lyrically uh, that I'm... I wasn't really listening to the music aspect of it. I wasn't really ready to listen to the music because usually rap well, is not doesn't drummer, have a lot of but drummer yeah. singer. So right, right, yeah. So I I really like what he's saying though. He, I don't I didn't know if I, I I wanted to 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 make a note. Was he dissing Kyle Rittenhouse or was he kind of saying like, hey, like sh- that's not really a hero. You got people in Afghanistan, and and. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't. I felt like maybe it was a diss. I'm not checking text messages. I'm looking at the lyrics. Right. Uh, let's see. It's in the first verse. Yeah, I know. It's at the bottom. <laughs> you should see how this thing's written out, man. What he's saying is that the the media was people were making money off saying Rittenhouse is a hero because it ignites yeah. it ignites oh, that gotcha. side and and people I are going to be like rah rah hell right. yeah Sell I'll buy t-shirts. whatever you got yeah gotcha right okay. I, I understand now. Here we go. It's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Ain't no war on drugs. Is that true? That'd be oh, wild yeah. if it is. Every jail cell is profit. Our prisons are privately owned. Illegal marijuana just mean kids smoking weed turn the dollars in their pockets. Let's be honest. Domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still, we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipeline leaks. Price the gas goes higher stock market crash everybody gets fired economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus one trillion dollars in debt to china we celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the headline that's gonna fuel the vision but if we champion the crumbs then it's crumbs that we're given and we don't make any progress we're stuck at the beginning one cent two cent three cents four we get less and they get more by insult since we were born they want money we want dirty more. dollars kill their it's even got dynamics with the, yeah. uh, the 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 crowd shout, you know. We want war. That's yeah. like. Uh, 
what one thing I did want to mention is that his uh, I feel like his hooks are getting stronger from what I've heard. Like, I, like one of the first songs I heard was White Boy, and that's what got me into Tom McDonald. Mm. And uh, I don't know if you saw that one. He's like kind of in a classroom, and it's and it's diverse classroom. No, it's my mother in law like, probably did though. Right, right. Uh, and it's got he says all this shit that I was like, holy fuck. Cause he was like, right when all that woke bullshit started getting real mm-hmm. hot and you you couldn't say anything about anything. Yeah. And he was singing this, this shit straight up. And, uh, I feel like his ability to write hooks has gotten better and better and better. Um, and like you said, you know, dynamically he's like, we want war. And he's doing these, these That's nice. things that are, yeah, they're, 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 yeah. they're almost like a, like a, They've got like a little bit of a metal um, edge to them. Yep. He's got like, he's got Mm -hmm. some metal in them. Uh, I don't know what his list, I don't know what he listens to. I'm assuming a lot of rap, obviously, but uh, I don't know if he's got any kind of like metal influence. His, his singing has gotten, initially I didn't like him that much and he's not great or anything now, but I think, uh, I think he's doing pretty good. I think he's, I'm, I'm pretty cool with this song. I really like what he's so saying. So far, yeah, I I actually like the line because if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that were given. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah, I thought that, that was that really was good. that was well spoken. It's basically yeah. uh, saying that if you're if you're gonna uh, exalt the uh, the lowest common denominator, then you're just gonna keep getting more of that. Absolutely, perfect. Yeah, well, I mean, perfectly said. When you when you feed stray cats, you get more stray cats. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and next thing you know, you can't afford to feed them, and now you've created a fucking disaster, mm-hmm. right? So, um, what I did want to say is what he has gained as far as melody and hooks. Um, I feel like his voicings. A lot of rappers will do all these different voicings and different um, different ways of phrasing things. They'll train. They'll change up their rap style, mm-hmm. and. I'm not really seeing him grow a lot there. He sounds like Tom McDonald all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From what I've heard, uh, again, I'm not the biggest Tom McDonald fan in the world, but I am a fan. And he sounds, he's got like one thing. He's fucking great at injecting like fast, like one-liners that encapsulate a really profound idea. Has he done? doing that, stacking that shit, but. You were listening to it. The lyrics maybe a little bit more than me, at least the, like the cadence of them. Did he throw any like triplet stuff in there yet? Not really. Like I'm not. I'm not hearing anything. The daga, the daga, the daga, the daga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't heard any and of that that's, yet. And that's my biggest grievance is that I want to hear him. I want to hear different voicings. I want to hear, you know, I want to hear him like kind of blast through raps and uh, and then do these little, little triplets and stuff like that. We're, we're just they just make it more interesting uh and i'm not hearing him doing man a lot of stuff. i he think just, deca, 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 yeah and he'll just stick stick with a uh, one rhyme scheme seems like i Maybe feel I'm like wrong. this guy could easily get over into like um uh, like a limp biscuit territory yeah uh, but he, lyrically he's way beyond fred durst right but there there wouldn't be that sort of uh tongue in cheek like hey i'm fred durst i'm kind of a you know I'm kind of, fun of kind myself. of a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be uh, more like um, I don't know, like back when Public Enemy used to team up with Anthrax or some shit. Mm-hmm. Actually, do you remember that uh, that song she watched Channel Zero, that Public Enemy tune? That was that was the the Slayer riff, the entire the Slayer riff on a loop, rapping over dun, top of that. Dun, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom McDonald could do shit like that where it's like. A, a, aggressive, almost teetering on metally. I think he could get away mm-hmm. with that easily, from what I'm hearing here, because he's right. got a nice, in-your-face, aggressive style and just a little bit more edge than I think he could cross over into that kind of territory. Maybe yeah. even bring in uh, some more fans and kind of uh, further the message a little bit. Do you remember when LL Cool J uh, did that MTV uh, Unplugged? Where I he do. actually. That was cool shit. Yeah. And that's what I think Tom McDonald would be, I th- I, not necessarily unplugged, but I think, uh, you know, Cypress Hill did that where where they went metal, uh, and I forget what, what CD it was, uh, but they did one side of the cassette, so it's been a while. Uh, the one side of the cassette was just, you know, Cypress Hill yeah. uh, rap, 
and the other side because they had gone on tour with Corn, and it was like it sounded kind of like Corn. The chorus, and it was them rapping over it was fucking badass. The chorus is getting in that direction, and if there's one genre out there that could use a kick in the ass away from uh, the left side, mm-hmm. it would be metal. Good lord, I would love I would love to see a revival of new metal, and I guess it would be called new new metal. Oh man, I, I don't know if I could stomach another one of those. What? Uh, sh- should we fin- let, let's finish the let's fucking? Let's finish it. New new metal. <laughs> don't hate. I did buy a Static X CD the other day. <laughs> Not enough soap to scrub, it's soaked in blood. I like this part. We make a buck, they take from us. The dollar runs our lives until we die. It controls your mind and it controls it mind. Thirty dollars fill their pockets while I. That was a bridge. It was. Solving problems they create to keep us down. Dirty money. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. All right, I'm with it. Well Word. done. Well done. Yeah. Again, I'm I'm not a rap guy, so I kind of have to defer to you a little bit. But uh, being as absolutely neutral as I can possibly be. Mm-hmm. I say well done. Yeah, um, I liked it. I really liked it. I liked I liked that the song actually had dynamics. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked that the chorus was a chorus, and the verse was a verse, and it had a fucking bridge, a rap song with a bridge. That's refreshing. Yeah, um, I liked that there were real instruments involved. You know, uh, I'm not a purist, so when it comes to uh, having hybrid songs with you know, fake drums, but real instruments and auto tune and not auto tune and all that stuff. Like I love, I love a good mix of whatever makes the song sound awesome. As long as you're not abusing, um, the cheats, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that gets on my fucking. All right. So as a Tom McDonald fan, um, Mm -hmm. are you, are you still sticking with maybe he needs to evolve with the, uh, the, the cadence and rhythm of of the actual rap? I'll tell you what, um, what I want more than anything is I want I want Tom McDonald to get on M's level of ability, uh, which I don't think he can, if I'm being honest. Uh, M is uh, one of the best in the world. I would say easily top five. Easily. Uh, you know, Buster Rhymes, um, when he goes, when he does his little blast raps, um, I don't know if that's what they're called. They're, I'm sure there's a, it's a better uh, phrasing than that, but it's a better uh, term than that. But this really fast rapping, uh, it sounds the same. I've listened to all these different versions of people doing these uh, insanely fast raps, uh, tongue twisters and stuff like that, and no, no one's touched Eminem because he not only can do it fast, but he'll fucking throw weird shit in there that that changes the timing and he'll start backbeating his timing and stuff it, it's insane and um uh, and i can't stand eminem because he's just turned into like this this psychotic woke idiot you know what i mean like he, he went really? from, he he but i mean he's a sellout in that in that <laughs> way because because he used to talk about i mean like take seven kids put them all in line at an ak revolver and another nine like He's talking about fucking being one of the shooters at Columbine, and then he's fucking preaching gun control. Like, fuck that. Uh, so I don't like hypocrisy, and it's like, if you're going to be one thing, you know, don't flip to the other side. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of uh, Eminem uh, fans that are going to hate on me for that, but I don't give a fuck, because that's that's hypocritical as fuck. And the shit that he's talked about in the past that was so controversial, and then he flipped on and preached against, you know what I mean, because he's backed up by all these like uh, private interests, blah, 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 whatever. My point is that it would re- it would be really nice if Tom McDonald would be the counterbalance to that and would catch up ability-wise to be like, nah, motherfucker, let me set you straight. And, and ultimately, and I know Tom wants this, but ultimately he wa- he's, he's been trying to bait M into a rap battle for a while. You know what I mean? Like a kind of like a beef. And it's funny because the way Tom does it, 
is he'll do it like I totally respect Eminem, but I but I don't like some of the things that he's saying and he's yeah. being and he's even said that he's being a hypocrite uh, before and uh, he's he's been trying to bait him and kind of poking fun at him but he's good Tom, Tom is Tom is really fucking funny about it because he does it in a way where he's still like it's not mean spirited mm-hmm. like us like us uh, you know and 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 again I still totally respect Eminem's ability. Mm-hmm. But his mentality uh, is is I'm I'm not into it, and I don't want to listen to it. But I want to listen to somebody that's that talented, and I wish Tom McDonald's <clears throat> was that guy. Maybe uh, Eminem got uh, fell into like the Mike Tyson trap, where uh, the people that he was surrounded by after he got famous were his eventual downfall, as far as his perspective it has a lot to do with that there's a there's this whole thing uh that i don't want to go too far uh, down the rabbit hole yeah we're already 20 minutes but if you if you remember uh when rap went from being like fun and and you had all kinds of rap groups uh like arrested development that were like positive and overnight it all went to gangster rap i dude i could i remember the fat boys Uh uh-huh do you remember the fat boys oh yeah yeah man it, yeah, that so there, was fun. So there was a lot of really fun rap, and it just went overnight into uh, into all this gangster rap. And what had actually happened behind the scenes is all these guys got together with uh, with private banks, uh, sorry, private prisons, and they decided that all these indie labels that were rap labels, all that they were going to do was sign gangsters and do gangster rap. They were going to invest in the private prisons and then the private prisons would get all the people that were, were acting out what they were singing on the rap albums. So all these private interests is where M is coming from. And all these people that are colluding and working together to do all the dumb shit that's happening nowadays are influencing artists like him. So that's why his shit doesn't make any sense when he talks about about stuff that is the opposite of everything he's ever preached throughout his career. Hmm. So anyway, that's a little lesson. You can look that up. It's called uh, the... I think it's called The Meeting That Changed Rap. Yeah, and it's uh, one of the guys from... You sent it to me, as a matter of fact. It's one of the guys from uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony talking yes, about Bone it. Yes, Bone Thugs so. and Harmony. A little uh, bit of street cred there. Oh, yeah. So definitely worth uh, looking up. And if you guys comment, I'll probably give you a link. But, uh, yeah, this this is run its course on a scale of 1 to 10. Are you giving uh, Tom the bell curve? I have to. I have no perspective on this shit. Okay. I'm like... Well, let's see. How does it compare to Public Enemy? <laughs> Let me flip through my my abacus and pick. You know. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to go on a bell curve here. And uh, one suck being you're pretty good. Ten sucks being you suck. The worst. For Tom, I don't know, man. Three, two, three. I don't know. You're going to have to help me out here. I'm I'm just, yeah. I'm I'm out here floating in, in yeah. the ocean. No, I'm, I think I think a three is what I was thinking um, it, it's not awesome. I, I've actually heard Tom McDonald's. He, he's got one where he raps about c- clones and shit. And, uh, I like that one a lot. Um, but yeah, I would give it a three, uh, on the Tom, on the Tom curve. And, uh, yeah, I think good job. I like, I like that the songs, the song was dynamic. I like everything he said in there. And uh, I pretty much agree with all that shit, so I'm sure I'm kind of yeah. biased. Sure. I, I One last thing I will say, and most everybody's tuned out by now, I'm sure, but I, what I like is the fact that he wasn't trying to stay on one particular side. It was basically that uh, mm-hmm. all you people that are making money off of uh, our uh, tribalism, fuck you. Right. And that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and, that, and I'm glad you said that because... I was agreeing with everything, not just about the left or the right. Like everybody's fucking capitalizing, oh sure, and and, and uh, you know getting blood from from this bullshit that's going on. So uh, blood on their hands, dirty money. If you guys got any hate mail, please feel free to drop it in the comments. We'll read it and laugh hysterically at it while we're shitting uh, <laughs> on the shitter. And uh, if you guys have any song suggestions, please make them contemporary songs uh, that are you know 
as, as new as possible, and uh, we might consider reviewing them. And if you want to see more of our videos, we've got a little bit of a back catalog building up, but we do release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at noon. So catch us then. Anything else? That's it. Peace out.